Welcome back, y'all. We're going to be checking out a GBT that allows us to upload images and then get the specific prompts associated with those images, really allowing you to leverage to new prompt engineering aspects. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the GBT is called Super Describe. I'm going to try four different types of images here and see what the potential outputs are. But first, as I always like doing, I'm going to say, what are the capabilities of this GBT just to see what it can do. Seems like the idea behind this is that I'll upload a real image. It'll give me a prompt to get the most similar looking DALI prompt. And then we're gonna be able to generate a DALI image that is similar to it. Let's see if it's even possible though. So I'm gonna upload our first image here. First image I'm gonna do here is gonna be of a German Shepherd. And we say, okay, give us this prompt. And I'll be impressed if this works as I think it'd be pretty cool in the context that you don't really know how to prompt engineer when it comes to Dali. And honestly, I really don't know how to prompt engineer when it comes to Dali. Dali is a more of a abstract one. I'm much better at GPT, but I'm curious on what kind of outputs we get in this context. We have the image here. If I go like this, we will get the exact prompt up there. I'm going to copy this. It's kind of cool that it was able to get like very specific about it being a digital photo. I'm going to go ahead and try and just hit enter again. Although it might not even generate an image here. Let's see if it does. Um, okay, we'll say, okay, generate another one off this prompt. It's not bad. I think the one thing that Dale and a lot of these AI image generation softwares are running into is the fact that they can't really do realistic photos. Now, I don't know if that is a limitation done on purpose or a limitation just due to the technology. Knowing that though, let's see it. I'll put this one more time here and, and try a different image after. Okay, still pretty cool here. I'm gonna try a different type of image here. One of like a profile shot of mine and see what it does. Simply gonna hit enter here, provide that image right there. And as it seems, it doesn't really seem to have to proctor it much. It seems like all you really need to do is provide an image and it inherently knows its job. Although this is probably gonna look like a Pixar cartoon, I assume. I'm not too sure how this is gonna come out as this is like a profile shot. Be pretty cool to see though okay i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it although it's a little off base it seems like maybe it, with realistic photos it's taking the same type of style i'm curious what the prompt says though what does this prompt say a digital of a smiling man fair skin and blonde hair okay chat gpt overall the image has a professional and clean aesthetic okay respect respect i'm gonna try some other images here i'm gonna try a burger right now it may have the same exact type of output when it comes to realism to dale as you see here let's try again Okay, so we just got a regular burger here. Let's see what it does here. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can take this a little bit further here and say, can we make it look like a McDonald's ad with fries? That is it did not spell correctly here. Okay, we're gonna hit enter here and let's see if it can take the underlying image that we provided and maybe add a little bit more to it than what we previously had. Wow, that is extremely solid, y'all. That's actually more solid than I was expecting it to be. That is super cool. And as you may or may not know, obviously we can download with that button, but I think the use case for this specific uh, GBT seems to be in the context of finding DALI prompts. So you can kind of use it at scale in the context of maybe you have a specific image that you really like the style of, but you want to replicate it into different types of images. So saying that a lot of stuff we provided was like kind of close and in your face. We're going to do one that's kind of like more broad and, and, and landscape. So we're going to give a cityscape here and kind of see how it would approach something of this context. Not bad, not bad. Not exactly what I was looking for here, but it is kind of cool that it is able to read the image and then give us something similar to it. But in the context of Dali, now what is super cool here is I think long term, we're going to be able to get a really, really good idea when it comes to its ability to do this at maybe like a Photoshop level. So I'm thinking in my head, if I had an image to edit, I could ask the Dali in image to, you know, take, remove certain aspects, you know, maybe, you know, add a filter here and there. This is kind of where it's going in the context of long term. But if you feel like you learned something today, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to leave the GBT down in the description down below. I'm going to leave a playlist where we're diving into a bunch of GBTs, but I'm also showing you how to create these GBTs in a private OAuth, API, custom, whatever it may be, whatever your use case may be, we probably did it. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.